The recent horror movie, Don't Breathe, is a rather average horror movie that has been getting good reviews from other critics. Why it was a good horror movie to others is dubious, as the plot involves some poor hipsters in Detroit going in and ripping off houses like they have a right to do it or something. Who could show an empathy to their characters? The movie revolves around them picking on the wrong house and subsequently getting more than they bargained for. Perhaps the teen slasher movies from the 1980s have desensitized people too much for this plot, but who cares about a bunch of thieves getting whacked? Most American audiences would probably side with the homeowner, given some recent history of home invasions in the country. The bleak setting of the film in abandoned sections of decaying Detroit is a horror in itself, and a good setting for this movie. Everything seems to be rotting away, the city, the people and the morals of the community. This movie would make an interesting movie to watch on DVD slash Blu-ray, but having any sympathy to millennial hipsters is out of the question in this movie and the audience should not root for them. On a bright note, I found actress Jane Levy to be refreshing and reminded me of new version of Reese Witherspoon. I hope we see more of her, as she seems an up-and-coming talent. Overall, a decent movie, but not a must-see movie. If you must go, I suggest seeing a low-cost matinee, as this movie is not worth a weekend night.